So it's February the 14th, and then Valentine's Day, and um, out in the Peak District, which is um, the first national park in Britain. And I'm in a small area called Burbage, or Upper Burbage. And I'm just going for a walk in the snow. So really it's more ice today. Um, I'm gonna walk all around the valley and then down by the brook which is just amongst those trees. You can see two tall hills, um, Car Walk and Higator. Car Walk is um, no one's exactly sure what it was but it's it's been there for a few few thousand years and some very old high stone walls. Um, they thought it could be a hill fort, but seeing as though it's a small of the two hills, that wouldn't really make much sense. So no one's sure what it is, and Higator is, I think that was where they quarried some rocks out of. Um, I'm not going to climb today because it's probably a bit too icy to do that. And it's boulder scrambling up there. Fun. Very crisp snow. Sometimes I sink, sometimes I don't. It looks like only one other person. Maybe two I can see some small footprints. I've gone down here since the last bit of snow. So I'm probably going to fall over at one point. I think it's easier than walking on sand. I think I've lost the path. No, I know there's little peat bogs around here because I've been here before, so I hope you don't suddenly see me go downwards because that would be very cold and very, very wet and extremely disgusting because it's peat bogs. That's um, Carl Walk up ahead of me. See, it's got kind of a very steep side to it. It is usually fun to scramble up. You don't need a harness or anything. And the the other side of it is where there's a kind of a wall. But I'm not sure how old it is. And I can't really imagine anyone in recent times building the wall. So. Could be thousands of years old. Maybe Bronze Age or before. Maybe of a similar time period to Mamtor, which is a, a hill further up in the Hope Valley. So I'm just going to head near to those trees. I'm going to walk over a small stone bridge, which is 18th century. So sometime in the 1700s, people tried to build a, a little stone bridge there over Burbage Brook. I remember I once being told that it was part of a very old salt route. Could it be Romans or before time? So, path I'm walking on has been used for a long, long time. National parks in Britain are very different from national parks in, say, the United States. Um, in the United States, pretty much no industry is allowed whatsoever. And they're trying to keep um, all human impact to a minimum. Whereas, well, except in places like Yosemite, where they've flooded valleys for reservoirs. Whereas here, we understand that people have been living on this land for a long, long time. So, 
although we try and take care of it, there's still planted forest which will we harvested. There's still a very very pregnant sheep who will be giving birth in the next few weeks. Obviously there's, there's a lot of tourism around here. There's even towns inside national parks which you wouldn't really find in the United States. As you can see, we managed to go through a little bit of a peat bog. Unlike I expected, it was very cold and it was very wet. It's definitely not a pleasant experience. Actually heading back, maybe I'll just see some cars going across the top. That is um, near Upper um, Burbage Bridge. It's where one of the A roads goes over. And I'm going to drive down to Havisage, which is one of the. It's actually a very nice, small little country town. In the in the Eastern Peak District, you know, we got a few sandwich shops, so I might get myself something to eat. No, I'm extremely muddy, so who knows if they'll let me in or not. <laughs> 